everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is 10 summer dresses made from four or so different patterns. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So this video came about because it's been really, really hot here recently and I've been hunting out some of my old Mimi dresses in the hopes that I would remain cool enough through these hot days. So the first dress I hunted out was this one. I made this last year. This is a super light, flowy, comfortable, airy little wrap dress. And it's made from two other patterns. This first one was my kimono style wrap blouse. I showed how I sewed this one up on camera. I shall link that video below. And then the skirt was this one. So this is my mega flounced, I called, wrap skirt. Again, I've done a video on how I sewed this up. I think I've also got a video on how I made the pattern for this one. If I have, I shall link both of those below as well. So I just removed the peplum, added the skirt, and came up with my wrap dress. And I love this one for summer because of the fabric number one that I sewed it up in. So this is a really light and flowy viscose. It's not lined. And because of the shape of the sleeve, it's got lots of ventilation. The flounce at the bottom of the skirt has got so much weight in it, it holds everything down. And the wrap doesn't open as easily as it would on some other wrap dress designs. So I absolutely love this one. And this was the first that I pulled out for summer. The second one I pulled out was this one. Again, I made this one last year. But this is just another really lightweight, really airy, super flowy summer dress. It has elastic at the waist, making it so comfortable to wear. And the halter bodice, again, not too much fabric, so lots of ventilation. The skirt on this one is a tiered skirt, so semi-fitted at the waist with that elastic. And then a little bit of an A-line shape going into two tiers at the bottom, adding a lot more volume. So this was dress number two. So this dress and the first dress are so comfortable. I thought I would mash up the two patterns and come up with something a little bit different. So this was my first attempt. So this was just the bodice and the waist piece from dress number one, and then a slightly modified skirt from dress number two. There's no zips or fastenings or anything in this one. There's just elastic at the back. And the modifications I made to the skirt was just to make the tiers a little bit more narrow. I wanted this to be a midi length rather than a maxi length. The fabric I used here was a linen look viscose. I thought this had a super fun design, but really the reason I got this fabric was the feel of it against the skin. Just like the previous two dresses, it's very lightweight very flowy, it's breathable and feels just so lovely against the skin. So that was dress number three. So for number four, it's actually the dress I'm wearing today. So it's exactly the same as dress number three, I've just lengthened the skirt. This fabric is another viscose in this little bit of a bold print. So it has peacocks on it, but I really like the colors. I like that sort of burnt orange and that tealy blue. This fabric also has little gold threads woven into it, which look really nice. But for me, they're the only downside to this dress. So I haven't lined this one either. It just has a facing around the front neck and then the back is just bias bound. And for the facing, I just used that same outer fabric. But what I had to do was remove one by one each of those little gold threads. And I had to do that because they are so uncomfortable. It's literally like the fabric is scratching my skin. So the reason I made this dress in the first place was to have a really cool, light, airy, comfortable summer dress. And it turns out it's just not so comfortable. To remedy that, all I would have to do would be to line it, but then that would negate the whole purpose of it in the first place. So I still have worn this, it's just not as comfortable as the previous dresses, but I absolutely love the style, shape, and design of this one. So that is dress number four. So for number five, I was playing around with that tiered skirt again. I just really love this shape for the summer. And I came up with this. 
So this was my square and ruffle neckline dress. I've used that same tiered skirt as before. This time I've made it midi length rather than the maxi. Given myself a nice waist piece there. And as I mentioned, that square neck and ruffle detail. The fabric I used for this first one was a cotton, an embroidered cotton. Again, just like the previous fabrics, this is super breathable, really comfortable in hot weather. This one isn't lined, it just has a neck facing. And for closures on this one, I've popped a concealed zip in at the side seam. So this was the first of three of this design that I made. The second is exactly the same dress. The only difference here is the fabric. So the fabric I used for this one was a viscose. And hopefully you can see here the difference between using that crisp cotton and this flowy viscose. It just gives a totally different look to the dress. For me, this one is way more casual, way more everyday wearable. And as such, I've been wearing this one a lot. The fabric has that classic polka dot design. It has the same side seam zip, same waist piece, same square neck and same ruffle. On cooler days, this is great with a wee denim jacket over the top. On warmer days, no jacket, just as it is. It's good with heels, it's good with trainers. Just a great standard little dress for summer. Love this one. So that was the second one of these designs I made. So for the third, I showed how I sewed this one up on video. I'll leave that video linked below. I went back to a more crisp fabric for this one. So I used a chambray here and I really liked how this one turned out. This again is a good little day dress. In this fabric, the ruffle looks a little bit more dramatic, makes a little bit more of a statement. The ruffles in the skirt, again, a little bit more pronounced. This is another one that has got lots of wear. The chambray fabric, again, really breathable, nice and comfortable against the skin. So that was my third and final version. And if I show all three lined up together, Hopefully you can see that by changing up the fabric, the end result can sometimes be totally different. So the next one I made was this. So this was my sarong style wrap skirt with semi-fitted bodice and elastic waist. This was really quick to pull together. I filmed how I sewed this one up as well. I shall leave that linked below. I used the same fabric here as I used in the little tiered number earlier. So one of the features of this bodice is that it has little cap style raglan sleeves, which I absolutely love. It has a couple of bust starts and just a little button and loop closure at the back. The skirt, as I mentioned, is a sarong style wrap skirt and then it has this little tulip shape at the hem. This one is so comfortable and has been fabulous for me over this past week or so when it's been super, super hot. I'm definitely definitely going to make more of these. But when I was pulling all of my summer dresses out of the wardrobe, I pulled out this one, which is a wrap dress I made last year. This one has got so much wear, like all of last summer I wore it, and this summer it's got a good deal of wear already. But because it has those sleeves, it's not as comfortable in the really roasting hot weather but I love the shape of the skirt. So I was thinking that I could mash up the skirt from this one and the bodice from the previous make and come up with something that's a little bit more wearable in this scorching weather. So that's exactly what I did and this was the result. So the fabric I used for this one is a tinsel. It's very much like a viscose, same sort of hand feel, very cooling against the skin, very lightweight and drapey. But the main reason for choosing this fabric apart from that was the design of it. I absolutely love the pattern on this. It reminds me of something from the 1920s. I love the colors. It's got lots of green and lemon in it. So I didn't want to put any zip closures or anything on this. So what I decided to do was just add a little bit of elastic in at the back in the same way as I did the maxi and midi tier dresses earlier. This one, I wanted it to be a little bit more delicate though. So I just used a very thin strip of elastic, just from side seam to side seam. This then gives the look of a really fitted dress, but actually it's super, super comfortable. And then to highlight those little cat sleeves, I added some green piping 
front and back. I then use the same piping to finish off the neck and then to cover that elastic I wanted to add something over the top but I didn't want like a tie belt. I thought this fabric was a little bit more dressed up so I recently made this belt. Again I did a video on how I made it, I shall leave it linked below. But I thought this type of belt in a really thin thin style would look really good with this dress. So I made it in exactly the same way. My starting point for the belt, however, wasn't a kit. This is just an old belt that I had. I salvaged the buckle from it and then just made the rest of the belt in exactly the same way as I showed in the video. And I think it just finishes off this dress so nicely. This is one of the most favorite things I think I've made. So I only finished this one yesterday. I wore it out all day yesterday and this morning. I love the whole shape of the skirt, the shape of the bodice. I love how these two patterns mash up together really nicely. I love that it's elasticated at the waist, so comfortable, but yet I think it looks very dressed up. Absolutely love this one. So that's a selection of dresses that I've made using patterns that I already had, all of which have helped to get me through this super hot weather we've been having. So hopefully this will give a little bit of inspiration to those of you that have a whole pattern stash to have a look through and maybe think I could match that one up with that one. I could add a belt to that dress and make it look totally different or just sewing up the same pattern but in a different fabric. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you guys on Friday. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye, folks. <laughs>